Now, vectors might not always be on a grid. They might just be on a blank piece of paper. And therefore, we would have to have an angle measure and an actual distance. Angle measure and distance. So, Because that angle measure tells us the direction. So we need to practice doing that. So here we go. We need to draw a vector that's 5 centimeters long at 60 degrees north of east. So north of east, that means kind of look to the right but turn up. So i got a line here that's running east-west. What you should do is you should put a dot at the end. You can put a dot anywhere. I just always tend to use the end. But that's where I need to put this cross here. So that crosshair needs to go on the dot. And I need to measure 60 degrees north of east. So if I'm looking east, I need to turn 60 degrees up and put a dot. Get your protractor out of the way. Let's draw, let's draw a arrow. Now, I, right now I just want to draw a line that, that gets us there. So I'll draw dashed. Then we're going to have to measure 5 centimeters because we only want it to be 5 centimeters. So grab your ruler, bring it over, line it up, measure one. I'm a little bit off. A little bit off. I think it's always going to be a little bit off. I mean, it's going to be tough to get exactly on. Okay. Here I am. I go one, two, three, four, five. So I need to put a dot there. I need to draw my vector that long. So I need to draw an arrow that is just that long. Right to there. Now, when you draw these temporary lines, you might want to draw them lightly. So you can kind of see. Let me, you know, make the change of properties on this thing a little bit. Let's make it red, let's make it thick. Boom. All right. So that's my five centimeter vector, 60 degrees north of east. Look east, turn up 60 degrees. Let's try another one. Five centimeters, okay, and it's just, I'm picking numbers. 50 degrees west of north. So look north and turn to the west, 50 degrees. Well, north is up. So again, let's put a dot at the end and let's get our protractor, put its pivot on that dot, and I need to turn 50 degrees. Now, I can do it like this and just walk 50 degrees. Some people really need to put the zero up there, and that's fine. I'm a little bit off on my alignment. Okay, and here's zero, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Put a dot at 50. Awesome. And get a straight edge and draw a line. See, I've got this arrow thing. It's always going to make it a straight line. So put it here. Go through there. Just go past there. Don't try to make it five. Just go past there. And then get your ruler. I mean, if you want to measure to five, that's fine. But I'm going to, I just drop past there and then I get a ruler, bring it up to it. Man. Just can't get that angle, can I? There we go. That's good. And boom. One, two, three, four, five. I put a dot at five. And I draw my real vector. Well, hey, let's do that one. Um, from here up to an ending right there. That gets me a, and I'll make it big for you. That gets me a five centimeter. And that five centimeter could be representing anything. It could be representing five miles, could be representing five miles per hour. Um, scale thing. Let's do one more. You better do it and then watch and see what happens. All right, so pause it. 60, 30 degrees south of east. Well, let's look at east, and then we gotta turn south, okay. Again, at the end, somewhere at the end on that line, a protractor, so 
crosshair. Oh, I gotta turn it down because it's I'm I'm going down. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Get back here! Get back here! What are you doing? All right. Yeah, it's a little off. Perfect. All right, there. Turn 30 center, 30 degrees. 30, 10, 20, 30. All right, put a little thick mark at 30. Da, 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 da. Awesome. Get that out of my way. Draw a vector. Draw an arrow. We're going to put a vector. If you, if you want to just, just measure it six centimeters, that's fine. Boom. And I'm going to have a problem. My ruler's only five centimeters long. Oh my gosh, what do I do? All right, so I'm guessing we're gonna have to put a tick mark at five, and then just measure one centimeter, one more centimeter. Okay, well you can do that. Awesome. Uh, tick mark at five, and I gotta measure one more centimeter. Yeah, okay. There is my six. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So, and now I'm gonna make my vector that is actually six centimeters long at 30 degrees goes right to that blue dot right to the blue dot that's exactly where I want to go Boom. and again I'll just make that bigger for you properties oh let's go oh let's go that way boom 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 boom, boom. there we go so bunch of the vectors practice